Okay, so for today in Google Classroom, I've tried to make this as simple as possible, even though it's a lot of information in here. I'll just describe what this is. Um, this is the beginning of the fifth week, which means that uh, on Wednesday, we will be halfway through this first quarter. So I've made a list of everything we've done so far, and I talked a little bit about this last week, but I made it, I made this list in multiple and saved it in multiple places. The quickest way to see what's uh, what I've listed is clicking this first link. I've called this page on my website every step. If you need to see where it is, if you forget where it is, or if you don't want to go to Google Classroom to check it out, you can go to my links page and go to every step. And this is my trojanart.com website. So this lists every project we've done up until last Friday. And each one of these blue underlined pieces of text is a link to the YouTube video. And it also has the number of points that that was worth. So that's what all of those are. The next way to look at it is with this quick expectations to midterm looks like. So what I've done is, is I've taken, if you notice the dates aren't in order, I've taken everything that has to do with your Google site and put it in here, which corresponds to, I rearranged everything on the grade book. So it corresponds to everything on this link right here, or this assignment. So all that same information is, is in PowerSchool now for that, for that first group of uh, assignments that are everything associated with your um, Google site, including creating and sharing your site, uh, creating the slide presentation called Daily Doodles and putting it in your website, setting the sharing on your Google Sites and Google Slides so that everyone in SDUSD can view them, adding interactivity, which was the triangles for the forward and backwards buttons, and then adding an index with the dates associated with all the, da the daily doodles. The second section, again in the grade book, is the daily doodles. And again, they're all listed here. It's kind of hard to see on this screen. I'm not sure why my screen is previewing my grade book so, uh, so small, but all of the daily doodles are listed here that we've done so far. Now, what I want you to notice is a lot of you are, uh, instead of continuing to draw more daily doodles, um, since they haven't been entered into a slideshow and added to your website, um, I'm going to freeze them today. And what I'm going to ask is that you do at least three drawings of the seven that I've assigned so far. If you've already done all seven of them and they're all ready in your Google slideshow, which is embedded in your Google site, then you're, you're gold, you're, you're doing wonderfully. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is, or the last grade in the grade book is colorizing your daily doodles. These are worth 10 points each. I'm only going to request that you do at least three of them and again put them in your Google slideshow which is on your Google site. So once again getting back to the grade book that's what these three things are. You'll notice the color on this one is slightly different. That's because this is a project and these are the daily activities that I've been having you do. So this project if you'll notice is worth 50 points. That's half of your grade to do three illustrations in color on your Google Sites slideshow, or your slideshow embedded in your Google Sites. And I'm gonna give you until this Friday to do, to do all of this work. But remember, it's, a, it's three drawings. I want three of them colored, and I want them in a Google slideshow embedded in your Google Site. 
I've created a uh, mock-up website example for you to look at, and I'll post that later on this afternoon after I get all of these things uh, into my own example Google site. So just to, to reiterate, I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now. If I can figure out how to do that. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's Monday morning and I haven't had my coffee yet. So, as you will hear me say at the end of every meeting, if you understand my expectations, you may leave now as long as you've said hello in the chat room. If you want to hang around and um, ask questions, you can ask them now or you can come back during my. Uh, open office hours, which are um, from 11 to 12, and you can jump in and out. Uh, this this Zoom meeting will be open until 10 minutes before 9, so that gives you a little over a half an hour, almost 40 minutes, to continue working on your artwork and continue to upload them to your Google Slideshow, which is embedded in your Google site. Does anyone have any questions? Let me check the chat real quick. Oh, the question. Our final is going our final is going to be doing the quiz for our spirit animal, or is the final going to be? Uh, more like a midterm, not a final. Um, I just want to, for those of you who don't have a favorite animal that you like to draw. I put that quiz in there or that test in there um, so that you can start thinking about what you want your totem animal or spirit animal or favorite animal to be. Um, so if you already have a favorite animal that you like to draw, let's go with that one. Um, I just put that in there for anyone who does not have an idea of what type of animal they would like to draw. And when I say animal I'd like to draw, um, it's just, uh, I'm going to teach you how to draw that animal. Second question. Second question was, since I didn't, couldn't record the first three daily doodles, does that mean I would have to redraw the first three daily doodles? No, you don't have to draw the first three daily doodles. Um, and you don't have to record them. Um, the recording is a nice sort of an extra thing to do instead of taking photographs. If you don't want to take photos of the steps of how you drew it, you are welcome to record them and upload the recording and save that on your um, Google site. And I will ask uh, Contessa, is it okay if I share your Google site with everybody right now? So that they can see an example. Yeah, that's fine. You can either unmute your microphone or um, type it into the chat room. Oh, that's fine. Okay. So let me share my screen again. And again, uh, later on in the second semester, as we're moving forward with our projects, this way of getting to each other's websites is going to be very important. So again, it's trojanart.com. If you roll over where it says student sites and you go to period one, I'm going to click on Contessa's website. And then I'm going to go to her projects. Part of your grade is adding these um, pages and these two sub pages. And Contessa went the extra mile and actually did video on some of her drawings. Whatever you want, when you're on a website and you have this uh, embedded Google si uh, Slides show, you can click full screen and then click over here to get to the slides. 
This was the interactivity that I was talking about. And on this day, Contessa added, instead of just adding her drawing, she added a video of her listening to and following along and drawing the character. So that's what the question was pertaining to. One of the things that you have to remember when you're viewing a uh, slideshow, you have to tap the escape key to get out of it, to get out of full screen. So thank you, Contessa, for allowing us to see your website. It's a great example uh, for what my expectations were so far. There is one thing I wanted to show you on here, though. If you go back to your index slide, each one of these should link to each one of these. So that's the only thing currently missing from your slideshow. But other than that, or your website, it's beautifully done. I like the fact that you changed the masthead in here. Uh, part of the second half of our semester or our quarter is going to be creating our own masthead up here. So once again, thank you, Contessa, for that. 